Ukrainian officials describe an important moment for Kiev to counterattack in Donbass. Ukrainian troops are waiting for weather conditions to improve in order to launch a counterattack against the Russian troops. According to a survey of senior Ukrainian officials, around the governor of the East Luhansk region was telegraphed on Monday that the Ukrainian fighters will bide their time for a few weeks before starting a counterattack in the Luhansk region of Donbass. Together with Donetsk in eastern Ukraine plunged into armed conflict in 2014 Russian-backed separatists seized control of parts of the Luhansk, Donetsk and Moscow illegally annexed the criminal peninsula south of mainland Ukraine. Collectively known as the best region, Donetsk and Luhansk have seen the heaviest fighting since the outbreak of all-out war on 24 February 2022. Russian troops are working to capture what remains of the Luhansk region according to the Washington, D.C.-based think tank the Institute for the Study of War ISW. Speculation has long circulated as to when Ukraine would begin the expected counteroffensive in last month's warmer spring months. Anton Gurushenko, an advisor to Ukraine's interior minister told Newsweek that Ukraine is waiting for Western equipment supplies to begin our own counteroffensive. But because mercury is rising, consideration is also paid to the famous Ukrainian muddy season known as the warmer Rasputitsa. Temperatures created muddy conditions which hampered military operations as the Russians suffered heavy losses in the Bakhmuth weekend. The Russian troops had suffered further heavy losses as the battle for control of the hotly contested city of Bakhmut dragged on. According to the Ukrainian military the Ukrainian armed forces killed 710 Russian military personnel in 24 hours, earlier the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces said on Monday morning on Sunday the general staff reported a daily death toll of 1090 with the figure placed at 1010 for the previous day. The battle for control of the eastern Donbass town of Bakhmuth has been raging for months and parts of it have become what the UK Ministry of Defence described on Saturday as a kill zone. However the UK Ministry of Defence said on 17 February that Russian troops and Wagner mercenary fighters may have suffered up to 200,000 casualties. Since the invasion began to 60,000 soldiers killed ministry evaluated in February on Sunday Russia said that 220 Ukrainian soldiers had died in one day in fighting in Donetsk without specifying the death toll for Bakhmuth the previous day Ukrainian military spokesman Sergei Charvetti said that 221 Moscow fighters been killed in Bakhmuth in the last 24 hours. Before the figures were released in his evening speech on Sunday Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that in less than a week. Since March 6 the Ukrainians managed to kill more than 1100 enemy soldiers in the area around Bakhmut which is an irreversible loss for the Russians near the town he said. He added that another 1500 Russian fighters had been taken out of action by the Ukrainian general staff. He also said Monday that Russian military and paramilitary forces were continuing to attack the city but that Ukraine had not surrendered control on Sunday. The head of the mercenary group Wagner troops Yevgeny Progozhin said that the closer the Russian troops were to the center of the city, the more difficult the battle would be. More and more artillery is working against us and more and more foreign tanks but Ukrainian fighters put in endless reserves Pregozhin added in the comments cited by Reuters, but we are advancing and we will advance. Russian military commanders may be trying to expand Wagner's forces and Pregosian influence in Bakhmut. The Washington-based Institute for the Study of War said on Sunday that Russia's advance had slowed in the Bakhmut after Ukraine withdrew from the eastern part of the city last week.